with Rob Lewis, BrentHubsVolquist.com. A little fast break on an ugly afternoon of basketball in Thompson Bowling Arena. Tennessee falls to Kentucky 70-55. to Rob, just your general thoughts on this loss for Tennessee. Oh, my God. I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess the Florida game was bad when they got beat by 26. But, I mean, this, this to me was as bad as Tennessee's played all year. I mean, just, I mean, embarrassing on a lot of fronts. I mean, a bad loss. I mean, I mean, Kentucky has talent. Yeah, I mean, they do. I mean, I'm not trying to say that. But, I mean, Tennessee just no-showed today. They didn't have it out of the gate. Um, just, I mean, defensively, the first half was, was – I mean, I'm trying, I'm, trying not to, I'm trying not to curse to describe it, <laughs> how bad they were. I mean, Kentucky shot 60%. And the most damning stat of all, Kentucky had 14 fast break points in the first half. That's, that's a big number for an for a entire game. To, to give up that many in 20 minutes – I didn't say a lot about your effort and your intensity. Yeah, certainly, as you mentioned, Kentucky offensively was fantastic in the first half, and Tennessee's defense was bad. Uh, Kentucky gave Tennessee every opportunity in the second half to, to make this a basketball game, and offensively, Rob, Tennessee couldn't do anything. I mean, absolutely nothing at all. One of 12 from the three-point line. Here's a stat that jumps out to me. Of Tennessee's 56 attempts from the field, 22 of them were threes. I don't think this team's going to win a lot of games when nearly half of their free th- or half of their field goal attempts are coming from beyond the arc. Maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't feel like that's this team. No, I'm I'm with you, and it's totally because I mean, the, the Achilles heel of this team is, is in the post. I mean, if they're not making shots, and and John Fulkerson is going one for seven from the floor like he did tonight, I mean, they're, they're going to get what you saw today is going to happen a lot. I mean, they just they were not good enough down low to to beat good teams. I mean, I'm, I've completely come to that conclusion. I mean, I don't, and I'm sure I'm not alone. I mean, that's not rocket science by any, any means. They got nothing going to the basket today. I mean, I, I know me and you were, were texting during the game and it was pretty clear that Cal wasn't going to let Springer and Johnson drive to the bucket and get, get into the paint like they did up in Lexington. And, you know, they, they didn't have to double Fulkerson at all. He couldn't, he, he, he everything, he took seven shots and I, I, mean, I, have, I have to go back and look at the tape, but I bet you seven of them were fadeaways. Or you know five or six of them are fadeaways. Just that's you know, the reason so many people thought Tennessee was going to be really good this year is because of the freshmen, and they and people thought they had a first team All SEC post player. They don't. Obviously, you know, I don't know what Rick Barnes' answer is offensively, but th- I mean, you are who you are at this point. What does Rick Barnes try to do to generate some offense? Because if you're defending this team, aren't you just clearly saying, hey, we're going to pack it in and not let you get to the rim? And, hey, if you have a night where you can really, really shoot it, then you're going to have a chance to beat us. But if you can't shoot it, we're going to manhandle you. What, what is what is the answer down the stretch here for, for this team? I don't think there is one. you got to hope you get hot. I mean, if Fulkerson is, is, if Fulkerson is who we have seen, with the exception, he had 19 points against a shorthanded South Carolina team. If he if he gives them what he gives them today, I mean Tennessee's going to have to make 12, 15 threes a game to beat anybody that's decent. I mean t- they were so bad today, Hubbard. Ten- Kentucky was shot twenty percent in the second half, and Tennessee didn't didn't cut into their halftime lead at all. Fifteen down, fifteen points at halftime. Kentucky shoots twenty percent in the final twenty minutes, and then they win by fifteen. I mean that, that's incredible. Yeah, a lot of incredible, ugly incredibles today for Tennessee and a lot of to the drawing board for Rick Barnes and his staff to try to find some kind of answer as teams are certainly going to defend those two freshmen differently. Cal, we saw it today with Kentucky. They had a different plan for the two freshmen than what happened to them in the second half, and Tennessee had absolutely zero answer for that offensively and then defensively did did not bring the intensity in the first half that they needed to, to, to have a chance to win Uh, this basketball game so where does this team go from here we'll find out Rob Lewis said it best earlier this week I asked you if Tennessee had turned the corner you said there was an egg in there somewhere Tennessee (laughs) certainly laid that egg this afternoon can they bounce back at Wednesday night uh, in Nashville against the Vanderbilt Commodores that's going to do it for this edition of the fast break for Rob Lewis I'm Brent Hubs, fallquest.com